Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a flip through of my B6 Stalogy. I have not uploaded a video to YouTube in a while because I've been busy with school trying to keep up with my homework, my exams, and normal life, just trying to balance everything. It's been a little bit difficult, but I still have been planning. I've been planning in my B6 Stalogy, in my Horizontal Happy Planner, and my Hobonichi Cousin Avec Memory Keeping Spreads. I'm a little bit behind on the memory keeping spreads, but I've been keeping up with everything else. I just haven't showed it on YouTube. I think I posted a video or a picture on Instagram, but I haven't even been uploading on Instagram that much. That's how busy I've been. And so we are just going to do a flip through of the spreads that I have missed, the spreads that I haven't shown on YouTube and we are going to jump right into it. So I think where we left off was this back to school spread. So should I just do a flip through of the whole thing? Because I feel like in order to show what I've been doing, I need to show what I was doing before. So let's start with, but I don't want this to be a super long video is the thing. So. I'll do a quick flip through of what I started doing in this Dalogy. Um, yeah, I'll do that. A really, really quick flip through of how I started using it. And then I'll show you how I've been using it. Um, so I started... I didn't decorate uh, these gray pages in the beginning. I don't mind that they're gray. I just, I don't ever look at them ever. So I jumped right into it with starting my monthly because I wasn't sure if I would like the Stalogy or how long I would use it. So I didn't want to set up a whole yearly, um, yearly spreads in this book not knowing if I would even like it. So I just jumped right in with my monthly. And so I did July. We have the calendar. We have a piece of vellum for decoration. Then we have the monthly dashboard, which I don't do anymore. I don't do this monthly dashboard because I realized I wasn't going back to reference this that often. And then we get into the weekly. So we have the weekly dashboard, which I still do. It just looks different. Piece of vellum for decoration. Let me zoom in just a little bit. I feel like it's a little too far. Um, and then I was doing one day per page. So I have my priority items, a to-do list, and then I had a journaling area on the side. So that's how I was using it for July. And my journaling area has gotten smaller and smaller as I've gone on, but, um, and my to-do list was a little bit short, but that's how I was using it. And then we go into the next weekly dashboard, piece of vellum for decoration. And then we have the same thing, priority items, to-do list, a little, blurb about the day and then a journaling area and so that was this week and then we have the same thing weekly dashboard and then we go get into the daily pages and i kept up this style for a while the layout the pieces of the layout are the same. So in this one, I have my priority items here, then a to-do list on the side, and my journaling area is on the bottom versus when it was on the side. But the pieces are still there. Um, they're just a little bit in a different layout. But I was still using the same elements a day per page. And then we have the same thing. So we're just going to flip through this pretty quickly. Um, still the same, using a day per page. 
I actually love this washi tape. This is Capital Chic Designs washi tape at the bottom. Just had to mention that. Then we get into August, and in August, I still did the monthly dashboard, but as you can see, I didn't come back and fill in really anything on this page. Um, so I stopped doing that for September. But we have the weekly dashboard again, uh, priority items, to-do list, journaling area, and for this week, I added a hydration tracker. Um, but again, still doing one day per page. And this is the same layout for the next week. For this week, oh, I should have gone, should I go all the way back and redo it? For this week, I did a sunflower theme the first week of July, and these were stickers, some stickers that I made, like these, I I found images online and cut them out with my Cricut machine. Um, these stickers I got from Hobby Lobby. These are from Hobby Lobby, this one I made. Um, this one I used a Craft Smart floral sticker book. So that was this uh, week. This week I used a Sweet Kawaii Design plant the theme um, that I got from Michaels. This one I used the Happy Planner Pressed Florals, I think, sticker book. This one I used Capital Chic Designs sticker book that I got at Michaels with matching washi tape. This one I used Shine Sticker Studio for the August layout and then I kept the Shine Sticker Studio theme for the first week of August. And for this week um, in August I used a Happy Planner Squad Goals sticker book to use a summer theme. And then this week I used a Happy Planner Color Story sticker book to get this like mint green turquoise palm tree situation that we have going on. And this week is when I was really busy. So I started just doing a to-do list and a journaling area, to-do list, journaling area. And then the journaling just kind of fell off and I was just doing to-do lists because this was the week right before I went back to school. So I was getting ready for college and things like that and I just didn't have time to do anything extra so I just had to-do lists. Yep, just a to-do list here. And then we get into the back to school week. This is where things changed. So I started doing a weekly overview instead of the monthly dashboard. So the weekly overview gives me a chance to just look at things I have upcoming for the week. And then as I'm planning my day in the morning, because, okay, here's how it goes. I plan the week out ahead on this weekly um, dashboard. Well, weekly overview. And then for the daily pages, the morning of this day is when I fill in my to-do list and my uh, hourly for the day. So for this week, I had the weekly overview, um, a to-do list for this week for items that need to get done, but it doesn't matter what day they get done, they just have to get done. This is a piece of vellum that I created. I found this image um, and printed it out on some vellum. And then this, these are my habit trackers, my meal tracker, and then a to-do list for next week so that I can plan ahead. Even though I haven't set up next week, I can still write down things that I need to remember to do. So this is a big change from what it was before where I would just do um, 
let's see, where I would just do uh, the weekly dashboard like this with my habit trackers, a to-do list, and a meal tracker. This time, I'm, I'm dedicating two pages for my weekly dashboard. And then we get into the daily pages where I was doing two days per page because what I found is that I was supplementing the previous weeks with a separate daily page. I was using I was using these Happy Planner uh, daily pages where they have the priority items checklist and then an hourly schedule. And I was using this hourly schedule in addition to my B6 allergy. So I decided to just put the hourly schedule in my B6 allergy so that I have everything in one place. So on the left hand side I have my hourly schedule um, and then I have my priority items, a to-do list, and then a small journaling area at the bottom. And this layout has been so perfect for me. It has kept me on track with everything that I have to do, remembering my classes, remembering things that I have to do, planning out when I have to do it so I don't stress whether or not I have time to do everything because I plan out my day by the half hour. So I've been using this religiously. And as you can see, this is my messy planner. I scratch things out, draw arrows everywhere. Um, I really, I carry this with me everywhere that I go. So, um, yeah, this layout has been really helpful. There are days like this day where I just didn't journal. I don't remember why, but you know, it happens. And so I use this layout. Oh, for this week, I used the Happy Planner Books Are Magic sticker book. So that's where these stickers are coming from. Then we get into September, um, which um, I didn't film and upload. Uh, so I went with um, a birthday celebration theme for September because September is my birthday month. My birthday was actually the first week of September. So uh, I did that. So we have the monthly calendar. This is my steps tracker, but I'm probably not going to do this next month because I haven't come back to reference this that often. Um, and then we get into the same layout that I've been loving. So we have the weekly overview, um, a to-do list for this week. This is a piece of vellum that I made, printed out from online. And then we have my habit trackers, meal tracker, and next week. So um, then we get into the two page per day pages. So we have the hourly schedule, priority items, to-do list, journaling area, and I track my meals over here. And for this week, I used the Happy Planner Celebrate sticker book. So that's where these box stickers are coming from. And then for the washi tape, I used Shine Sticker Studio washi tape at the top here. And this washi tape um, I got from Michaels. Um, this is also Shine Sticker Studio washi tape. Um, so we have that same layout. And then this week, I did film it. I just didn't edit and upload it. So we will go through what I used for this week. This week I used the Natural Beauty sticker kit from Simply Gilded. So we have the washi tape here at the top from Simply Gilded. I think it's really pretty. And then the grid washi I got from Amazon. So we have the weekly overview page this week piece of vellum from Simply Gilded. Then we have the habit trackers, meal tracker, and a to-do list for next week. And then these are from the Simply Gilded sticker kit. And the washi tape at the top is Simply Gilded. 
And again, I have my hourly schedule on the left, top three priority items, a to-do list, and a journaling area. And um, I've just been using this layout um, ever since. So we have these. I just love this washi tape. That's just really pretty. And then we get into the week of September 13th through September 9th. And the layout is the same, so I'm just going to flip through this one pretty quickly. I used the Floral Mega Sticker Book by The Happy Planner for this one with washi tape that I got at Michael's. Um, so we have this. And this washi tape at the top is by Scotch. It's pink with gold foiled uh, polka dots on it. And then for this week, this was me and Jason's 11th year anniversary week on uh, September 26th. So um, I went with a anniversary theme for this week. So the layout is the same, the weekly overview this week. This is a piece of vellum that I printed out from online. Um, Oh, I just realized I haven't gone back and filled in my meal trackers. Um, it is now Sunday, so I have to go fill this in for the rest of the week and my habit trackers. Um, but we have the trackers, the meal tracker next week, and the same layout. For this week, I used... It was an American Crafts sticker book. Hold on. I used the Jen Hadfeld, this sticker book, um, Jen Hadfeld Homemade Sticker Book by American Crafts for this week. And washi tape that I got from Michaels and Amazon and Michaels. Um, wait, did I say Michaels twice? Yeah, Michaels and Amazon and Scotch the same scotch tape that I use here at the bottom. So doing this, we have, I used the same washi tape for two weeks in a row just because I thought it was really pretty. Um, so same layout, hourly priority items, to-do list, journaling, and yeah, that is actually the end of it. Today is Sunday, um, the 26th, so I have a lot to do today. It is now 10.30, so I'm a little bit behind schedule. I was supposed to have filmed, edited, it, and uploaded a video by now, but I'm still filming it. So, uh, and then I have all this homework to do. Then I have to do laundry. Then I have my priority items to-do list that I still have to fill in and then the journaling I will do later. And so then we get to the blank pages which I will set up today but that will be in a separate video. So I thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please uh, hit the like button on your way out. Consider subscribing for more planner content. Thank you so much for hanging out with me but I will see you in the next one. Bye!